based on the angle between the two lines we have another problem here the slope of a line is double of the slope of the another line if tangent of the angle between them is 1 3 find the slope of the lines okay so question is saying like we have two lines like let's say this is line l1 and this is say line l2 another line all right uh, if l1 has slope m1 and l2 has slope m2 then the question is saying that uh, like any one of them like uh, slope of one is du double of another one like m1 is equal with 2m2 all right then if the tangent of the angles between them is 1 3 and now angle between them let's say theta theta is the angle between them then then tan of the angle tan of the angle is 1 over 3 then find the slopes of the line then we need to find out what is m1 and what is m2 okay so tan theta we have already got that's 1 by 3 and we know that uh, whenever we have two lines and their slopes then the angle between the uh, angle between the two lines uh, those two lines is theta then tan of that theta tangent of that theta is always equal with uh, plus minus m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 times m2 okay <coughs> now let's put the all values that has been given by the question it's 1 over 3 all right so tan theta is 1 over 3 let me put that is 1 over 3 and now again plus minus m1 let, let's suppose uh, m1 is actually 2 of m2 so I'm putting here 2 of m2 minus m2 divided by 1 plus again m1 is actually 2 of m2 times m2 so it's going to be 1 over 3 equals to plus minus now 2m2 minus uh, m2 it's going to be m2 and this is 1 and plus 2m2 square all right so we have two possibilities now one with plus and another with uh, minus case one case one I'm doing with when uh, when it is positive all right case one for positive will get 1 by 3 equals to uh, m2 over 1 plus 2m2 square okay and <coughs> case 2 I'm taking like case 2 I'm taking if it is negative all right so it it will be minus m2 over 1 plus 2m2 square now <coughs> let's solve it all right while solving this uh, this will go like this this will go here and this will repair this so it will be 1 plus 2m2 square equals to 3m2 and further if we arrange it properly then 2m2 square minus 3m2 plus 1 equals 0 and here here also let's solve it we'll get now this will multiply this one so it will be 1 plus 2m2 square equals to minus 3m2 and if we arrange it properly then it will be again 2m2 square plus 3m2 plus 1 equals to 0 in both places we got quadratic equation it means we are going to have two solution all right so uh, let's do uh, anyhow let's do factorization so it will be now 2m2 square minus 2m2 I'm just uh, splitting the middle term all right m2 plus 1 equals to 0 all right and here I will get uh, see here is also 2m2 here is also 2m2 so what I can take I can take 2m2 common outside and here only m2 will left and minus 1 similarly here nothing to get common so common will come 1 so 1 outside and you'll get m2 minus 1 equals to 0 and in both place we have m2 minus 1 and m2 minus 1 so uh, m2 minus 1 I can take common and I will get 2m2 minus 1 equals to 0 okay let's solve here this side also we are quite very close to uh, answer all right so again we are going to split the middle term all right so 2m2 square plus uh, 2m2 plus 3m2 see this 3m2 actually uh, this 3m2 I'm going to split into 2m2 plus m2 and then this plus 1 equals to 0 and now further uh, again 2m2 will come outside it is 2m 
time m2 times m2 means m2 is two here squared it is and it is only one so uh, I, I, I can take common one so I'll be left with m2 plus one and here again I can take common one outside so I'll be left with m2 plus one equals to zero and now here is also m2 plus one here is also m2 plus one so now we can take outside one m2 plus one m2 plus one and here we'll be left with 2m2 plus 1 equals to 0 now both cases let's f let's solve it all right so either either m2 minus 1 equals to 0 therefore you'll get m2 equals to 1 or 2m2 minus 1 equals to 0 so that we'll get m2 equals to 1 by 2 all right and in this case uh, either either m2 plus uh, 1 equals to 0 therefore m2 equals to minus 1 or 2m2 plus 1 equals 0 equals to m2 equals to minus 1 by 2 all right so <coughs> we got m2 and m1 <coughs> we got m2 in both cases now so therefore now m1 is equals to again two cases of m1 is here what we have learned m1 is twice of m2 all right so our m1 is twice of m2 so it may be two times m2 m2 is one or two times one by two so it may be two all right or one and from this case uh, again m1 is actually twice of m2 so it may be 2 times m2 that is minus 1 or 2 times minus half so this will be either minus 2 or now if you cancel this 2 and this 2 you will get minus 1 so uh, m1 is either uh, when when uh, when we have a positive case then the slopes m1 will be either 2 or 1 and m2 will be 1 or half and in the case of negative when we will take m1 will get either minus 2 or minus 1 then we will get m2 as a minus 1 or minus half all right these are the possible cases of the slope required by the equations all right